You know, today uh, and all of this week, uh, we've had a historic visit from uh, the physicians in Cuba. To my knowledge, this is a very historic event in, in a number of regards, but the first is that uh, this is the first visit of a, the Ministry of Health to a university in the United States. The second is that uh, this is the first uh, visit of Cuban physicians to underserved areas in the United States, and especially areas where health equity is a real issue for us. And the third is that we are unique in that we have 12 uh, federally qualified health centers, and they've also visited those uh, health centers and given us uh, their thoughts, their input, and we hope that this is really just the start of a journey that will help both of us in the pursuit of health equity. I think the thing that I would like to learn most from the Cuban physicians is how they have the community involved, how they actually uh, have the, uh, what I call social capital, um, that everyone within the community believes that it's not only the job of the physician and the nurse to take care of them, but it's also their responsibility. They too want to learn from us. What do you do with your advanced stage cancers? How do you actually take the new sciences of bioengineering and biotechnology and apply that for the good of, uh, of health? Considero que lo más importante es la visita a las comunidades, a las clínicas, a los unidades, centros de salud para poder comprobar, conocer eh, cómo es el sistema de atención primario en, acá en la ciudad de Chicago y un poco de alguna manera comenzar a evaluar las posibilidades que nos daría en un futuro de aprobarse por ambos países, por, ambos, por la Secretaría de Salud de los Estados Unidos la Universidad de Illinois y el Ministerio de Salud Pública de Cuba, la posibilidad de integrar estos dos modelos y para eh, aplicar las experiencias de ambos en la atención primaria y mejorar la, los indicadores de programa materno infantil, de la prevención del cáncer y de otras áreas de trabajo que se pueden, de la, como el intercambio académico. The next steps that we envision for this project are grand. And in fact, what we did with the first step was to say, could we do the impossible? And that is bring a delegation of folks from Cuba here in partnership. And the answer to that was a resounding, yes, we could, and we did. Um, so now that we've done that, it, it, the hard work really begins um, in the context of really defining a program and really picking the one or two neighborhoods that we will now have, um, ideally, uh, a team um, from Cuba of both doctors and nurses embedded with us for the next couple years, figuring out and helping us to solve these problems.